Hello, Gamer Nom is back. And in this video, we're going to become the Sound Hashira Uzui Tengen in Project Slayers. But before we start, you can show your support by using Star Code Gamer Nom when purchasing your Robux. 5% of the earnings will go to this channel, and this will really help us make better videos. Where the actor slam. Oh, there it is. Forward. There's your slam. There's the dump. Okay, the hardest part of this video is how to get the Uzui clan. And guys, if you're gonna ask me, I spent 3,000 spins just to get this Supreme Clan. So here are the perks. Next is the sword. We got the sound katana. So I was able to get it by doing daily spins. So guys, the item that we got here is the sound katana. So are you ready? Not yet. Next step is we need to look like him. So guys, just to make things fast. First, for the clothes, you can just buy the Tengen uniform, but if you don't have Robux, just follow this guy. Okay, I'm gonna make this fast. First for the clothes, there you go. Shoes should be number 5. For the shirt, number 10. This is how it looks like. For the pants, number 3. Okay, it should look like this one. Next up, for the face, eye should be number 18. There you go. Nose number 2. Mouth number 16. And for the hair, Number 61. After this, what do we need guys? The sound breathing. So for the minimum requirement, you need to be at least, I think, level 75. But first, here it is, our character. Does he look like Uzui Tengen? Comment it on the comment section. Oh, we need to equip the sound katanas. There it is. Okay, let's try slashing there. <laughs> Anyways, our first goal is to reach level 75. So Gamer Nom, is there a way to reach it fast? Hmm, let's just do some quests. There we go again. Goal 75 or level 71. So first, let's defeat Yahaba. Gives out more experience. But guys, uh, defeating demons in this game is really hard compared to defeating slayers. <laughs> As you can see, I'm using the Thunder uh, breathing style. Sorry about that. <laughs> but this is the easiest way to grind in the first map, I think, using this style. There we go. Next up. Defeat Susamaru is just near Yahaba. So this one's easier compared to the previous one. There you go. Okay. Also, good thing, the crow gave us the same quest. So we don't need to like change locations. Another Yahaba and another Susamaru. And that's it. Oh, no, no, no. One more, guys. We're going to defeat the Slasher. Yeah, I remember. You know, which one's easier? Slasher or Nezuko? Comment in the comment section. After this, next map. Guys, find the sound trainer is our next goal. Is there an easy way, Gamer Nom? Yes, you can just buy it in the map using money, right? Or if you want to run, I'm going to show you the location really fast. So from the first village, just go straight. There you go. And once you see this one, this thing on the hill, turn right. There you go. Frozen cave, and you will see a waterfall. So just go through it. There you go. Don't drown here. <laughs> and after that, go to your right. And you will find a statue, okay? So from this statue, there it is. To the right, to the right. There you go. Right again. Okay, this one, guys. So facing this one, go to your right again. And you will find a cave. Okay, so this is the location of the sound trainer. Okay, just go up the cave. You will find his sound trainee. And there you go, sound trainer. So first, we need to remove our breathing style. So we have a code here, one mil fabs breathe reset. I hope that this still works. I think this will just last for two weeks. There you go, you'd redeem a code. So guys, now we can start the quest. First requirement, 13k Gwen and 150 demon horns. So we have 132 guys. I, w I went to the first map at Zapiwara Cave because there are demons here even at daytime and they're easy to defeat. So as you can see, every time I defeat them, I get demon horns. Okay, so again, 150 is our goal. After that, go back to sound trainer. Okay, okay. first goal is to pull some boulders. There you go. Go back to him. Still not flashy enough. Next stop, I think he will ask you to do push-ups. There you go, just type fast. H G V V J. Okay, after this one, go back. The trainer, okay, if you define my training, blah blah blah, what's next? Trainer, okay, he will ask us 
to cut the boulder or split it. So guys, you're gonna type again. After this, go back to the trainer and next up, I think you're you're gonna aim, right? There you go, aim. And after this one, I think you're gonna fight the sound training. Okay. Back to him, blah, 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 defeat my pupil. Okay. So is he hard to defeat? No, guys. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Anyways, after that, you will get the sound breathing. Is it done, gamer? No, no. We need to unlock all the skills. As you can see, we have one, two, three, four, five skills. And the hardest one is defeating Tengen and to unlock his final skill. For the master in level, fastest ways to grind here at the first quest with Tyrone and the Nome village. So just de keep defeating the bandit and the bandit leader. And you will be unlocking all the skills here. I'm telling you guys, this is the fastest way. So I'm gonna show you a showcase of all the skills. For the X skill, the roar. This is the roar. There you go, guys. Okay. So next up at Mastery 32, we will be unlocking the resounding slashes. My favorite skill. There you go, this one. So there is a combo of this that I, I used to do when grinding. I'm gonna show it to you later. Next up, guys, at Master 40, explosive impact. There you go. This is kind of mid-range. There you go. Okay, and next up at Mastery 50, we will be unlocking the smoke screen. So guys, uh, this can like remove the aggro of any mob on you and if you press B twice, it will explode. Okay? Obviously, the explosion deals damage. Okay, so guys, for Tengen, he spawns every 15 minutes. You need to defeat him. I cannot defeat him at this level, so I asked my brother to help me. There you go. So, is he easy to defeat? <laughs> Not on my level. I'm still a noob in this game. So, see that? He will be using all his skills the moment he spawns. And the damage is kind of high. <laughs> also, I kind of panic. <laughs> oh, some tips from my friend. Do not use your sword when you are doing M1. Okay? Make sure to use Soryu or Combat. Anyways, I was able to unlock it after like 3 hours. So guys, we bought the costume, the uniform, the cosplay like Tengen. There you go, guys. <laughs> and yes, we were able to unlock the skill, the final skill, the string performance. So I'm going to show it to you. Okay? For the string performance, there you go. Guys, make sure that when his performance ends, there's an enemy in front of you. Or make sure when you release the end button, an enemy is in front of you. Okay? Why gamer no? Check this out, guys. There you go. If you hold the end and there is no enemy in front of you, it will just end the performance. I hope that's clear for our combo. Use Z skill after that. C skill. Okay, you can either choose V or X skill. I think I use V here. There you go. V and X. And you can use your B skill. There you go. That's my combo. If you have a better combo, just comment it in the comment section and if you use your end skill properly, this will happen. Okay guys, again, this is my combo. So guys, did you like this video? Please comment it in the comment section. And if you get lots of views from this one, we will make another one, okay? So again, to all the viewers, subscribers, supporters, I really appreciate you all. This is GamerNom. And see you on my next video. Bye-bye.